it seems like everybody has a new coding font these days and GitHub is no exception because they just announced their new coding font. Monaspace is an innovative super family of fonts for code. And you might be wondering what exactly makes this innovative. Well, one, it's not just one font where you have one super family of five fonts that are all variable and variable fonts have the ability to change things like how much they actually slant or their width or their height and have them adjust accordingly without having to have a font weight like we typically have. Now also we have these five different fonts which are all based on the same family. Neon which is sort of the classic look, the Argon which is a little bit more angular, Xenon which has serifs, Radon which is kind of comic sansy, and then Krypton which is kind of angular and they're calling it a mechanical sans. It's the most different and interesting if you ask me. However, all of them do look pretty nice. What's so great about this website which is monaspace.githubnext.com is that you can see exactly what these fonts might look like with all of their variations. In fact, you can go heavy weight, light weight, and you can even see them with ligand ligatures on and off. I like ligatures a lot. I know some people don't. It's a personal preference thing, but I'm happy that they're here. Now, what makes this font interesting besides the fact that there's these different variations? Well, it's doing something that they call texture healing, which a typical monospace font, each character takes up the same amount of space. And because of that, they can be a little bit harder to read, which is why most display fonts are not monospace, right? But a programming font needs to be monospace. So that way your code is always vertically aligned in a grid. With texture healing, though, they're able to uniquely space out the kerning between letters while still maintaining a vertical grid. You can see it in this example right here where the M kind of really is not directly in the middle of this grid and it's able to take up more space the way a capital M typically would in a font. However, because of this texture healing, it remains a part of the vertical grid, giving you better readability while in fact keeping it monospace. Now, if you want some website inspiration, this website is fantastic. It shows you all sorts of cool things and really shows off this font in a great way. You can see this variable font nature in action. It talks a lot about the ligatures that exist in this font as well. Look at these squigglies. I love a good squiggly and a ligature font. This thing rules. And let me tell you one of the very best parts about this font is that you can just download it. So check it out. Which of these variants are you using? What are your settings like? Do you have a combination of different ones, weights, widths, and slants? I wanna hear exactly what you like in your font setup. Don't want to use this font and like another coding font? Reply below and let me know what font you're using. As always, check out syntax.fm Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new podcast episodes. Subscribe to us on our socials for new tutorials and content. Peace.